whole season if you don't have the right vehicle. Everything is built over the music. I mean, the costumes, the choreography, the concepts, everything. If you want to create magic, you, you, you need to match the right song uh, to the right skater. I mean, it's, it's the first thing you must do. Uh, uh, second thing, I mean, the skater must uh, love the song. Canadians Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford make music a priority. And so Hugo works closely in collaboration with their choreographer, Julie Marcotte. If you do the elements musically, they will bring up your marks. So everything's got to be really organized to the second close. So without a go, it wouldn't be what it is. When the crowd is touched emotionally, that's when they stand up. When Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer selected Carmen, Hugo transformed the music into a competitive figure skating version with his intricate layering technique. For example, um, this section of music, there's just no audible beat at all. And they would, they would get a deduction. So what we do, we just try to fit the orchestration create something that will fit without destroying the masterpiece. This free dance has about almost 20 versions. And I'm sure they will call me back <laughs> before Worlds. <laughs> Una Kim's choreographer David Wilson came to Hugo with the idea of using James Bond for the 2010 Olympics. Hugo wanted something that wasn't tacky. And what is so effective, not only the choreography by David Wilson, but the edits in the music by Hugo Schwinnard. Very clever the way the program was constructed and developed musically. I found one great recording from uh, the Prague Philharmonic and I sent it to David and he says, wow, that's the one. So when you see the final product, I mean, this is just, the, I mean, that, that's my reward. A Skater's Life, brought to you by Nature's Bounty. Be your healthy best.